Hi, Coach Jim here. Today I want to talk about when's the best time to use the inject. Well, the inject itself is positioned to uniquely be able to treat plants that are difficult to treat. And there are several categories I wanted to really quickly highlight. The first of them, the one that always comes to my mind, are those plants where I can't get to them with a truck. They're so far away that I don't have 500 feet of hose, 600 feet of hose. Or they're in an, in an inaccessible location, like on the other side of a lake and I can't get over there. Or they're inside a bunch of security fences. Or they're in a courtyard inside a building. Um, just crazy stuff like that. So the inject would be perfect for that because you can take the plant, you can take the thing inside a courtyard, inside gates, all kinds of things like that. Um, also, they're really, the inject is good for treating plants that are completely surrounded by people or cars or there's some kind of an obstacle that can't get any kind of chemical on them. Now granted, you can inject some of those plants, but what if it's a shrub? You can't really stem inject a shrub but you can soil inject one. Um, another thing, you can treat plants during adverse weather conditions. Well, the one that always gets most of us PHC guys is wind. If it's a windy day, you can still use it. If it's too hot, you can still use it. If it's too cold, as long as it's not freezing, you can, use, you can do it. If it's a little bit spotty rainy, kind of a drizzly rainy day, you can do it. And you can't do it when the soil is super saturated because the material won't stay where you put it. And that's bad. But you can use it on a drizzly rainy day when otherwise it would just get washed off the plant. Um, sometimes I've been in situations where the plants I have to treat are in areas where we can't use an engine. It's too loud. And we get complaints. Um, and those situations would be perfect for the inject because you can go in there, it's very quiet. Um, I've had people not even know I'm there, even though I told them what I was doing, they didn't know what I did. They asked me, are you done already? The inject was great for that kind of thing. And you can fill and apply just as quietly. So everything can be done without a lot of noise. And finally, what happens if your spray truck breaks down? you could be out of business for a while until it gets fixed. Well, with the inject, you can keep productivity going. You can keep the dollars flowing so at least you'll have some revenue coming in from the work you did with the inject. And that's really important. So in short, the inject can allow you to keep the work flowing and to get things done on time and profitably. So until next time, see ya.